Now, rolling motion, my previous lecture that I just gave you about five minutes, was kind of in, on purpose because I wanted to kind of get to the point where I'm talking about rolling motion. Rolling motion is exactly what I was saying a minute ago. It's the combination of translational motion plus rotational motion, okay? So uh, translational, often also called linear motion, translational plus rotational motion. So when an object is rolling, let's say this chalk here, okay, it's rotating, plus the center of mass of it is translating. You see? So that's a combination of the two. So the center of, the center of mass goes like that plus each point along the perimeter of the object has a tangential velocity. You see? And therefore, if I want to know the total velocity at any point, the total velocity at the top point is going to be the vector sum of the tangential and the center of mass velocity. Because the top point is moving forward due to the fact that the object is moving forward, plus it's moving forward due to the fact that it's turning this way. You see? So the total velocity is the sum of the center of mass plus the tangential velocity, and then over here, the total velocity is the difference between the two. The V center of mass is forward, V tangential is backward. So V total is V center of mass minus V tangential. Okay? And then at the front point, the V total will be at an angle, right? It'll be at an angle like that, and it'll be the, sub, the vector sum of the V center of mass and V tangential. So it'll be the magnitude of V total will be uh, square root of V center of mass squared plus V tangential squared. And then same thing here. This point will be moving this way. So it'll have the same magnitude as the front point. And then all other points of the object will have a different velocity, you see? So what you're seeing here is the combination of the two. Let me just get, uh, for one minute, let me get something I can show you this. <clears throat> Do we have those uh, black markers? Oh, here it is. It's uncensored, huh? So if I go out the door and say, oh, poor. <laughs> I cussed him out or something. It's on video. <laughs> people, people all over the world are watching it. OK, so what I made here is uh, a point here. So you can focus on if I. I'll give this at an angle. So focus what's going on to that black, black point. You should notice that at the top, it goes the fastest. It has the highest total velocity. 
okay? And then uh, at the bottom, it should have a zero velocity because we, what we, in a minute I'll talk about pure rolling motion and you'll see that for pure rolling motion, the contact point has a zero velocity. So at the top it has the highest, at the bottom it has zero, and then at, at all other points it has a velocity combination of V center mass and V tangential. Okay, so I'll roll it here. So at the top it should go fastest, zero, fastest, then it's slowing down. Zero, fastest, fastest, zero, like that. And now we could also put this at an angle. And now it accelerates. <laughs> it becomes hard to see it. But the same thing now can apply to the acceleration of the object. The acceler total acceleration at the bottom should be zero. Total acceleration at the top should be twice the center of mass acceleration. And then total acceleration here is uh, square, root of, square root of two times the center of mass acceleration. Okay. See, fast, 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 like that. Now, at the bottom, at the bottom, the, what you're seeing here is an example of pure rolling motion. This is the definition of pure rolling motion. V tangential equals V center of mass, okay? For pure rolling motion, V tangential equals V center of mass. That means the rate at which it's turning that is equal to the rate at which it's moving forward, you see? So what would happen then? The V total at the top is twice the V center of mass. So for example, if a car is, uh, you're driving your car 60 miles an hour, and there's a little bug at the tip of the tire, okay, the bug will experience a velocity of 120 miles an hour at the top, and at the bottom is zero velocity. For a minute, the bug gets to rest for a split second, okay? Um, so V total at the contact point is zero. And then the total at the front or back point is going to be uh, square root of 2, right? Because V center of mass and V tangential are the same, so it's going to be square root of 2 times V center of mass. Okay? Now, this is pure rolling motion. The one that I showed you is an example of pure rolling motion. Now, you could also have other variations of rolling motion. One is called motion where V tangential is greater than V center of mass. That could happen in a case where the object is moving, uh, no, the object is turning faster than it's moving. So let's say the object is going uh, 40 miles an hour, for example. The, the, the tire as a whole is moving 40 miles an hour, but the V tangential is 50 miles an hour. So the, tire, the tip of the tire is turning 50 miles an hour, and then this is, uh, this is 50 miles an hour. This is 50. This is 50. So what would be the total velocity? The, the, the velocities that I uh, wrote are the tangential velocities. So what would be the total velocity uh, at all points? Uh, the top point will have 50 plus 40, that will be 90, right? Uh, the bottom point will be what? 50 minus 40, well, actually, it's be 10, right? When could this ever happen, where the, where the thing is rotating faster than it's moving forward? 